Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ari, if you're new here, and today in the Ari Diaries, I'm gonna be doing a What's In My Bag, featuring my medium black puffer by Telfar. This bag was in collaboration with Moose Knuckles. I've had this bag since October, and it's now March, and it's been about five months, and when I first got this bag, I carried it for a month straight, literally. So I've taken this bag to every occasion you can think of, and it's still in perfect condition, even on the bottom, and the bag does not have feet. Um, it's still perfect on the inside of the bag just for a little overview there are two pockets one is a zip and then the other is like a slip pocket with no closure the first thing pulling out of my bag is this water this is Callaway blue water um, self-explanatory I drink a lot of water I get thirsty all throughout the day so I always have to have a water with me the next thing in my bag is my phone charger because today before I left for class my phone was um, at about 50% and I just needed this with me just in case something came up. I don't usually have this charger, of course, especially not this one. This is the big brick one. We don't take this from the house, but I needed it today. The next thing I have in my bag is this hair tie. My hair is really big, as you can see. So I use really big hair bows. This is one of the, the really good ones that doesn't have like any metal. It's literally just like elastic. It's nothing on it. It's just like super stretchy and these are essential. I take one of these with me everywhere I go because my hair can get kind of obnoxious and I really am a fan of just putting it up in a pineapple and forgetting about it. The next things I have in my bag actually come from this zipper compartment and they are two packs of wipes. So these are some Lysol wipes which are self-explanatory. I'll use these if I'm out eating and I need to wipe down a table or a seat or if I'm at school and I need to use one of the school computers, I wipe down the keyboard. Y'all know what these are for. And then these are some flushable cleansing cloths for like when you go to the bathroom. These are the Up and Up brand. This is my favorite brand of flushable wipes. And yeah, I just keep these with me in case of any type of emergency. The next thing out of my bag is some Five Gum. This is the peppermint flavor. This is my favorite gum and it's self-explanatory why you need this in your bag. Next out of my bag, I have this Hello Kitty mirror. It is double-sided. It actually has a magnified side and then one that isn't magnified. It also has a light, but I think my batteries are out. So I need to look into changing them or getting a new mirror because this one doesn't light up anymore. Oh, this is actually an impressions mirror and I got this from Marshalls. Next out of my bag, I have this Touchland Power Mist. This is the hydrating hand sanitizer and this is the watermelon one. Um, this hand sanitizer is cute and all, it smells nice, but it's really not my favorite for like actually cleaning my hands on the go. If anything, if like I feel like my hands are really sticky and dirty, I'll either use a Lysol wipe or some Purell hand sanitizer. The next thing I have in my bag is this Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. I prefer this one. Yeah, I prefer this one over the Bum Bum Cream. They're the same company, but this one is, I think, more coconut notes, if anything, but yeah. I keep this with me because it's small enough to be in my purse and it's a lotion and I really like this. The next thing I have in my bag are these headphones. These are the Sony WF-1000 XM4s. I got these from um, Target and they have a pink little silicone case on them from Amazon. I love these headphones. They are really, they're pretty expensive for like wireless headphones. They're about $300. Well, they were 300 when I got them. Um, I like them. They have good sound. They have really good noise canceling and all that good stuff. Um, so, yeah. Sony WF-1000 XM4s. They really should have came up with a different name for these because that's just too much. They could have come like, I don't know, something other than that. Next to my bag, I have my wallet. This is the Louis Vuitton Recto Verso wallet. It just has a couple different compartments. It has this one right here where you can slip some um, cards and like this little slip pocket. I keep insurance cards in there. There's another compartment behind that. I'm not sure if you can see. Yeah, okay, a slot right here where you can keep other cards. Then you can also unzip it and keep more cards here. I do, in here I keep like my student ID for my school because I never have to use that. I have my student ID, um, credit cards that I don't use every day and like store discount cards like for my grocery store. It also holds the clasp here, which you can use to connect to the inside of your bag for easy access. You can put this really anywhere. A lot of Louis Vuitton bags have D-rings on the inside of them, so you can connect this to that. And then the main selling point of this wallet for me, 
outside of the convertibility was these card slots in the back because it's just such easy access i don't have to open my wallet if i need my daily debit card um which is this one and then i have another debit card a credit card and then my license i like to keep at the top just like easy access i can get it i know exactly where it is but yeah this is probably one of the best wallets from louis vuitton in my opinion i don't like the really long ones i don't like just using the um card holders i think this is like the best of both worlds the next thing in my bag are my keys this is a brandon blackwood six key holder i don't know the name of this color but it's just pink as you can see there's a gold hardware button on the front and then on the back it's just stamped and it says brandon blackwood Ooh. Brandon Blackwood New York on the back you probably can't see it but on the inside I just have um three keys three keys my house key I actually keep outside of it just for like easier grabbing and then my key fob does not fit it's the key to my car I have a pink little silicone little cover on it and then a Victoria's Secret clothes pin um keychain that i'm obsessed with and then there's also a little slot in the back of the um key holder where i keep my gem key so in my bag i have my louis vuitton clay um this just keeps all my receipts before i got the ripped over so this was my actual wallet but now i just have receipts in here i don't like obsess over organizing them but like at the end of the day if i come home and i'm just like cleaning out my bag i will sort some into here but this piece also has the um this piece also has a clasp on it so you can like hook it to stuff um so yeah, but I used to use this as my wallet until I got the Recto Verso. And I think right before I got my Recto Verso, I was just like, I really need a larger wallet because this is super small. I still use this though as a card holder. Like if I'm downsizing to a smaller bag or something, I'll just put like my cards in here, some pieces of gum and just use this as like my card holder for the time being. Um, I still really love this piece. It's really sentimental to me because it was a gift. And yeah, this is the clay from Louis Vuitton. The last two things I have in my purse are pouches, one of which is like in case of emergencies and the other one just handles all of my lip products. This is the one that has the lip products. In here I have a thing of Purell. Like I said earlier, I use this when my hands are really feeling dirty and I want them like really clean aside from like that just cute um, hand sanitizer because that's really all it is. It's just cute. Next in here I have a miniature, um, what is this called? Lip Sleeping Mask from Laneige. This is the original um, berry flavor. I have the lip balm as well, the one that comes in a squeeze tube. I love that. I, I don't know where it's at right now. I lost it a couple days ago. Um, but yeah, this is a miniature of the um, jar one I have a lot of those I have like six of those different flavors because I love these I'm addicted I used to be one of those people who was like what's the hype about I don't get it like it's not that good but it really is that good okay this is a part of my skincare routine the very last step after I do all my serums and my moisturizer this has to go on my lips I love this and I keep one with me at all times the next lip product that I have in my bag is the Dior lip glow oil and this is in the color mahogany if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure it's mahogany this is the darkest color that they have it is like a really dark reddish brown looking color but um surprisingly on me this shows up clear which is why this is my favorite of the dior lip oils i have three of them this one the clear and the pink and this is the only one well this is the one that shows up the most clear on me the other ones are like two cherry pink and I guess because it's cherry oil that might be why even the clear one gives me some tint but i rather not i rather just be like clear i also have the co bigelow menthol lip tint this is just the bath and body works lip gloss i love these next up i have the fenty beauty gloss bomb this is in the color sweet mouth this isn't um as much of an everyday color for me so i must have been wearing this at some point which is why it's in here the next thing i have in here is a little um fragrance spray this is a travel spray this is tom ford's black orchid this was i think my mom got this for me so this is something this is a really heavy spray though this is like a winter scent or like a nighttime scent because it's really heavy but um yeah this is just tom ford's black orchid also have a um dove advanced care ghost spray is this called a ghost spray i actually don't think it is but 
Oh wow. Okay. No, dry spray. Dry spray is what this is. Um, this is the only flavor that they make in a trial size, so this is the one I have. I don't use this um scent. This is the cucumber one. I don't really like the cucumber one, but this is the only one I make in a mini. So this is the one I have in my bag. Next in here I have some watermelon now laters because sometimes I just need some candy. I have a tampon. And last but not least, I have two spoolies from when I was wearing lash extensions. So that's everything that I had in this little bag from Victoria's Secret. Because I hate having lip gloss and stuff like fly around my purse. So the very last thing I have in my bag is this Bloomingdale's Little Brown Cosmetic Case. When I first learned about this, I was obsessed. I just thought it was so cute because y'all know Bloomingdale's whole brand is like little brown bag and all that good jazz. So I have this one and I also have another piece that's like a little coin wallet. It's so cute. But this is the Little Brown Cosmetic, and inside of here, I just keep a, a lot of different stuff. First off, I have a tampon. I have a Burberry Her um, Travel Spray. This has another fragrance option. I have a Fairy Tale by Bath & Body Works Travel Spray, another option. This is more like I'm just spraying it just to spray. This is like I'm actually outside spraying, and the time for it is like it's nighttime. Then I have a travel toothbrush because I'm kind of obsessed with my mouth feeling clean. Some Tylenol. I have a little first aid kit. This has band-aids, Q-tips, some mini scissors, and some um, safety pins. I have some dental floss because I'm obsessed with my teeth. Have a lot of alcohol prep pads because you never know when you need one I have these lid scrubbing pads my god mom gave these to me the last time I was at home she said I might like them so I have them in my bag in case I ever want to like clean my eyelid I guess also in here I have these crest scope um mini toothbrushes these are the ones that don't use water i've used one of them so there's only one left in here i need to get another pack then to go with my toothbrush i have a little colgate toothpaste with me and then the last thing in this pouch is an extra hookah tip because i hate when you go out somewhere and you're like obviously smoking hookah and you're waiting for the person to bring you back a tip because those girls have a lot to do like they be tended to multiple tables and customers and getting bottles and orders and whatever else so i would hate to be like just waiting for you to bring me a tip so i have one in my bag just in case and then when they bring me the one that i actually requested i just replace this one with that one so yeah this is an extra hookah tip but the last thing i forgot to mention obviously is my phone and it's just in this green textured case from shein that i'm obsessed with i've been obsessed with green lately but yeah y'all this also would be in my purse every single day and punk okay y'all so that concludes everything that was in my bag 10 out of 10 recommend this bag specifically and so far as a brand overall let me know what you guys keep in your bag what you think i need to add to my bag if you saw anything in this video that you're going to be adding to your bag um and yeah if you like this content make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel so you can see all my upcoming content and thank you so much for watching bye